Right, so maybe I'll go through this. Uh, so the first map. There's just an ABH through the door. And I also get some extra speed by damage boosting over my second jump over here. And I don't actually stock launch over the Jeep, I just um, do like a normal jump off of the side. Uh, prisoner one test. Yeah, thanks. But yeah, I just ABH over the slope and then launch over that rock formation thing. And then just land here in ABH. Nothing too crazy. And in this map, there's actually a jump bug over the surface. Um, so what I jump bug is, is I uncrouch and jump right as I land. And there's actually a little bit of an annoying thing to it, is that you have to, in the tick that you land, you have to be less than two units from the ground, but you can't be physically touching the ground for a jump bug to work. So it's, since I can't change the tick rate, it's fixed in source. Uh, these are kind of annoying to do since, um, you can't like, uh, jump bug off of like every single height, so it's kind of annoying to figure this out, and it's, it's really a pain. But it's really good. Jump bugs actually, they're often slower in Half Life One because you have to, you have the aerosol when you crouch. But that's actually not the case in Half Life Two, and you also get a jump in compared to like uh, any other landing method. So that's why jump bugs are really good in Half Life Two. Uh, do it being lazy at the end of the run. Uh, I'm not sure what part you meant, but I mean, I could probably save like... Um, I want to say like two seconds for this whole thing if I really went through everything and tried to like do everything really good, but... Yeah. How about now? Wait, yeah, this is... I'm not sure that rock into the level change. It is actually, it is really hard to strafe through these parts. Since there's like clip, a clip brush over here and a clip brush over here. And also getting like a low launch so that you actually hit the level change trigger. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit difficult to do. Then actually launch over that slope and then I do a jump back here and grab the rockets. I'm pretty sure this would be faster in overall in like a full game. But I mean, I guess it would be slightly faster if I landed like here for the purpose of this task. But I sort of wanted to like simulate what it would look like in a proper task. And undo another jump back right there. Launching over this slope and doing a jump back over here. I'm actually not completely sure if this. It probably was. Yeah, it must have been. I'm just launching off that. Using the roof to launch. This actually right here is a slope bug. I think. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Was there like any reason I decided to do the slope bug here? I think it was because if I jump back here, I would jump and I would hit this thing. So this like got me so that I don't touch this uh, surface over here so that I could like maintain my ABH onto here. I think that was the reason I didn't do a jump back there. It also might have been because I was lazy, but I'm not completely sure. I don't remember anymore. Double jumps off of those posts on the bridge. I mean, I'm doing this on Unpack, so you can double jump. But no, I'm not getting double jumps. Off of those. Then here, I'm... This kind of actually makes me wonder if I could have, like... Curved this better. I guess I had to, like, turn so much that if I wouldn't, like... If I had more speed, I probably would have hit this thing, so that's probably why I lost so much speed there. And then I just hook it the right side and avoid all the zombies by doing that. 
launch off this thing. There's like, um, the skybox is like somewhere here, so you can't just go straight into there. So you have to kind of go around here. I could have jumped back here, but I just used the water to land. I guess that was slightly easier here. And it doesn't really cost that much time. I was pretty lazy about this. And here I remember there was an issue that I couldn't get a launch that would get me like here. I did try quite a bit and I was always like coming up a little bit short so it's standard. Uh, wait a second, I just left my train of thought because I was reading chat. Uh, where was I? I think, yeah, I tried to get a launch over here and I couldn't so I just decided to take the damage and land over here. And then on this map, I just redirect off of the lighthouse because the um, this turn I have to make here is pretty like tight. I can't actually just strafe this, so I have to use this lighthouse to redirect myself. And then I do a slow bug. And here, for some reason, if you do a slow bug, you can jump immediately. It's kind of shaped in that way. I'm not really quite sure why, but. I just jump there right away and then I launch off of this and then jump off of this rock I believe and then launch over the cliff brush over here. There's a bunch of cliff brush over here. And I use one to edge bug off like off of that. Since I needed to maintain um maintain altitude here so that I could actually make it onto here. And I actually need to get rid of some speed, so I hit this clip brush right there, so that cuts off some of my speed. And I do another edge bug over here, so that I like fall down into here. It's another clip brush. And then I actually have to pretty much break here quite a bit, so that I can make this turn into here. There's like a clip brush that's all over this place, and I actually want to go inside of this thing. So that's why I had to really slow down there quite a bit. And then I actually slow bug off of this propane tank here or whatever that is. And then I um, strafe in this roof so that I hit the ground faster. So it looks like the ground sucks me in, but it's because I hit the roof. And then I just ABH through this gap. And it's quite a bit faster than going through the top and then entering the map from the back, so... That's why I decided to do that. And then this is another slow bug into a jump. And right here, this turn was really annoying to make. I like redirect off of this thing to get rid of my um, speed that way. Since otherwise I would I would hit this side um, and I don't know, I just get stuck here. So I need to like cut off my, uh, on my velocity on this direction. And unfortunately it actually launches me. I would have preferred to stay on the ground, but I couldn't really figure out how to like not get a launch off of that. So. Seems like I'm actually going to tank. Ah, oh, okay. I guess that could be the case. And I could just take the damage here. It's actually, um, it's worth noting that you'd probably not want to take as much damage if we were doing like a full game run, since you wouldn't want to just throw away health like this. But since I just did coast, it doesn't really matter. I don't have to like plan ahead or anything like that. So I do take damage during this task like quite carelessly and for not a particularly good reason and this launch at the end was really annoying to do i just did like random stuff until i got the right height and the velocity into the pipe <laughs> yeah don't worry about it but um i was hitting the top of this pipe quite a bit it was really difficult to actually make it on this pipe Oh yeah, that's the that's the task pretty much. If you have any questions, you can ask. Let's play it once more. The start was probably better done than the ending. I mean, overall, it's probably not like super optimized, but it's I don't know, it's pretty cool since it's. Pretty hard to get like a really optimized run of any halfway two section because there's so many uh, possibilities that you could do that it's like hard to figure out what the 
most, like the best way is. Or outdoor mobs anyway. There's like a million servers that you could launch off of and different jump patterns and stuff, so. I just go with like what looks really good. Let's do that. Slow motion playback. I'm not sure. I can actually do that. Uh, okay. It's actually a good point, S. I didn't really think about that. This new engineer. What do you mean? How does the how fast is the engine in react motion? It sounded like some sort of opera there. It was good. Classical music, pretty much the train. Now this task, um, there's like a plugin you can use to strafe perfectly in a direction and there's like, it's basically made using console commands. It's not time scale, it's that it's um, like scripted. Time scale assisted would be like significantly worse actually. You can do much more precise stuff with the tasks. Oh, I'll play it like full speed. 